When you have a memory leak or you want to reduce memory consumption in general, you'll be looking for unwanted chains of references that prevent objects from being garbage collected. In my previous video on finding memory leaks, I have shown how this works in JProfiler. Let's say we find it suspicious that there are so many of these pseudo class state objects in this JavaFX application. We select the row in the classes view of the heap walker and create a new object set for these instances. By default, the HeapWalker wants to send us to the outgoing references view, but we go to the incoming references view instead. Then we select the single object and use the show path to GC root action to find a chain of strong references from a garbage collector root. The problem is that we have just inspected a single instance when there are in fact many instances, in this case more than 2000. What if the reference chains for these other objects are totally different? In many cases we know that they will be the same, but some objects are created all over the place and we have to isolate the problematic instances. This is where the merged reference views come into play. In the merged incoming references view, you can see references to all objects in the current object set at once. Each node in the tree shows data for two different sets of objects. The first numbers here refer to the objects in the current object set. They show how many objects in the current object set are referenced in this way. You can use the Use Referenced Objects action to select them, in this case 1596 instances. Alternatively, you can select all objects that are not referenced in this way, the other 936 instances. The information after the arrows show the reference holders in the actual reference chains. You can also select the reference holders. Here, 549 instances of type compound selector. By default, this view shows references between classes. That way you get a more compact display and it makes it easier to collapse recursive references in a class. You can show the field references as well if you're wondering about the exact references. The reference holders can be from multiple subclasses because the field can be in a common superclass. Here we have a field in the class Unmodifiable Collection, and when we select the reference holders, we see that the actual instances are from a subclass of Unmodifiable Collection. However, it can be hard to find the reason for a memory leak that way, just like it would be hard in the incoming references view for single objects without having the show path to GC root action. The paths that I have opened here show a recursive reference structure and so it's useless for this purpose. A show path to GC root action would not work in this aggregated view because of the many different paths for the single instances. What is needed is a different view and that is the merged dominating references view. Each node in the Merge Dominating References tree is such that if all the reference holders in it were removed from the heap, the associated referenced objects in the current object set would be removed as well. For example, if you remove these 549 instances of type Compound Selector, all associated 1596 instances of type Pseudoclass State, or 63% of the current object set, will be removed as well. One thing that is important about this view is that the references may be transitive. For example, the compound selector here is not referenced directly by GC roots, but by transitive reference for multiple chains. That's why there are no further dominating object sets below it. Let's check a single compound selector to see what that means. There are two static fields in Style Manager that reference the compound selector separately and you would have to eliminate both of them to remove the compound selector from the heap. This cannot be shown in the merged dominating reference view. Generally, a transitive reference is a bifurcation of a reference chain so that the intermediate objects do not dominate the successors. This means that removing one of the intermediate objects would not remove the commonly referenced object down the line. 
This is an important concept for the dominating reference views. Depending on the structure of the references, it may be better to invert the display and show the garbage collector routes at the top with special nodes that show referenced objects in the current object set. Apart from the styles that are referenced by the style manager here at the top, we now see single JavaFX widgets that have their own CSS data. The main thing to take away from this screencast is that the merged dominating references view is the perfect tool for finding out why objects are not garbage collected when objects are not all referenced in the same way.